Hey gang, it's Elizabeth here with the Dandy Soap Channel, and today's DIY project is going to be the Twig Snowman Reef. And this thing has floated around for the past two or three years. Um, Hobby Lobby actually did a video on it. Um, May May's, she does scrapbooking, but she does crafts too. She had done this reef. And just recently, it's resurfaced. It's a big hit on Pinterest. A lot of people hit this and save it. And I absolutely have always wanted one. Um, matter of fact, Dollar General came out with this this year for some reason. They wanted $10 for it, guys. And I kid you not, it was literally two of the top. The, the reef, these are Dollar Tree reefs. The reefs were half this thickness. Kid you not, like two rounds of grapevine. And one little bow, and they wanted 10 bucks. I was like, no, not paying that. Also, um, this is being surfaced on other channels, too, that's been very popular. The great thing about the Twig Snowman is you can carry this into the new year. With that being said, let me go over the supplies. You will definitely need lights. I have a blue one and a white set. This came from Dollar Tree. So did the following. All these items came from Dollar Tree. The fleece scarf that has the stars, this is actually the kids' one. I have various ribbon, all kinds of ribbon, the Dollar Tree wreaths, and picks. And these picks came from AC Moore. Now, let me hint with this. These wreaths are called bamboo wreaths. <clears throat> they are actually labeled as 12 inches. Well, as you can see, I've got one sitting inside of another. This one's actually a 10 inch and this one's a 12 inch. And so they are definitely, you know, misleading. So if you can, hopefully you can find two of these reefs at Dollar Tree and one smaller than the other. We will also use floral wire to tie up, to tie these together. You can use zip ties as well. And very of course, and a pair of scissors. So I'm gonna clear off my table here and we're gonna get right into it. The first thing we're going to do is kind of look at our reefs and find, you know, what looks the best when you put them together. Just kind of look at them and position them and just see where it looks good together. Then you'll take your floral wire or zip tie and you'll attach the two together. Um, I'm basically going to take and wind the wire around it several times. Um, you can start out by tying it and getting it going. And just remember, you're going to be putting a floral arrangement here. You're going to be putting your picks and your flowers and ribbon and so forth. So the main idea is just to tie them well enough that they stay tied together. And uh, this here, so don't sweat it because we'll probably use some ribbon. But, you know, hold it up and look at it and make sure that it's not toppling over backwards and just adjust it wherever you need it to in order for it to be straight in line with each other. Now, if you see that it's toppling over or it's not staying steadily up, then go back and wrap more wire like I did and make it really tight. You know, just pull it taut and get it strung around there really well. And that will ensure that it will not topple over or go anywhere with you. Plus, we'll be putting a top hat up here. So, let's go ahead and get our floral started and start. What I do is I will pick out at least three different types of greenery. Um, like a mixture of greenery, unless I'm just going like wintry white looking like with a frost. And sometimes, you know, just doing that will help you decide on how bright or how wintry or woodsy you want it to look. And so, you'll just kind of start gluing your greenery on and pinning it where you want it and just making decisions and you can stage it and really look at it first before you start doing anything and they'll help you too or putting it together you'll see better and clearly what it is you're wanting and it'll start taking form and you'll know which direction to go um, going upward this way and i've also decided to start coming down this away and that's what I mean whenever you're staging your greenery you it'll start taking form and you'll just know where it is you're wanting to go with it and how you're wanting to go with it 
and where to put it and uh, just take advantage of the florals flowing in the way that you want them to and the great thing about the ones with wire in them is you can kind of form them and push them around and get bend them in the direction you want this wire in it but it's very bendy and very flexible and you can kind of get it to just go wherever you want to and I've been putting glue on the stem of it, on the back side of it, and just placing it where I want. And I really love how this is coming together right here. And uh, that is just looking really nice to me. So, and I think I'm going to hang some bells here before I put my bows on there. And just try to put them, string them on. I really love these old-fashioned looking bells. And this was in a nine-piece set. These came from Dollar Tree as well. So I think two or three will be sufficient right there. So a little trick that you can do when you're working with bells and you need to work, you know, and you don't want them to drive you nuts, you can take a piece of tape, and you can hear it ringing really good. Take that piece of tape and just put it across them until you get done working with them, and that'll dull the sound. It doesn't mute it, but it dulls it. So that's muffle them a little bit. Because you do want them to chime. You just don't want them to drive you bonkers. Let's see? Big difference. Big difference. That's just a, a little trick from the crafter's journal of uh, things to remember. Now, in case you haven't done any bells before, this is beautiful. It has snowflakes and it has believe. And it's the blue silver. I love this ribbon. It is gorgeous. I got this from the Dollar Tree. And this one came from the Dollar Tree as well. This one has snowflakes and it's the white. And this or twice, depending on the ribbon. And with this one being a little bit wider ribbon, I'm having to fold it a couple of times. And then just pull it through and tie them on. And here, so it's going to cover up these ends. So I'm not really worried about them. And I'll just make sure that you string enough that it's long enough that you can do that. And so there's my first one. And then I'll do my other two the same way and get them strung on there. And so you can use different ribbons or all the same ribbon. It's really up to you. It's your design. You tie your ribbon. Put you a spot of hot glue underneath there so that they will stay where you want them. Now this, and of course, make sure that you test your lights before you put them onto your reef. And uh, make sure they're in working order and that you're not having any issues with them and that they're all burning and that they work right and that the wire is okay. And just do a general inspection anytime that you're doing that. And then, of course, I turn my lights on when I'm stringing them. And I always pull the strand out all the way and then that way I can easily put my battery pack pretty much where I think it'll be and again pre-staging before I go through and proceed with any stringing or putting them on or gluing them into place and then as you can see I've been strategically gluing my lights down and placing them exactly where I want them after I staged it and decided, and then I went ahead and said, okay, I'll go ahead and put them in place. That way, I will be able to conceal my box behind the bow, and everything will be exactly where I want it. And then, if you do like I did, you'll turn them on and place them where you want them and kind of see where they're going to fit the best, and then start gluing them into place. Um, so as you can see, I've gotten around my florals here. And this one, I have it loose because I, it's going to be going back here behind the florals and it will be behind the bow. And before I put it in place, I wanted to make sure that it's going to make my florals show up really pretty before I put my bow on there. And then that way, and then I'll take some floral wire and tie it down behind that greenery, but also set it to where I can easily 
slide the switch on and off on it and then that way it's concealed back there so i'm going to hold it there with my finger temporarily so that you can see it's camouflaged and when it's hanging up it'll, you won't even be able to see it but the button i'll make sure that i've got it turned to where i can reach the on and off switch real easy and keep it camouflaged at the same time then we are definitely ready to do our bow and i have my ribbon laid out here that i've selected plus the fleece scarf and the felt the felt top hat that's going to go on the top of my reef is made out of this same fleece scarf and it already so basically i have taken and cut this about an inch and a half wide and then I have this spool of ribbon that I have bought at the Mighty Dollar, and it's an inch and a half wide, and it's silvery. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to glue these two together, and this way I have a wire inside of it, rather than hand stringing a wire through this and trying to make it stiff. I'm just going to use some already wired ribbon and glue it to it, and then that way when I do my layers, they'll already be together and it'll have the color and it will match uh, because that you can do a lot of people will not even fool with this uh, when I make something I have it for a long period of time so to me this is not a waste and so basically I'm just gonna put a spot of glue and just let it whatever hits is fine I don't want it really heavy and uh, just drizzle it through there it doesn't have to be a lot of glue. It's not necessary. I'm just attaching them together and using the one for its wire. And at the same time, still enjoying the color. It's silver and it's blue together. And so just trying to figure out how much I need. And then that's where I'll stop. Because I'm going to be doing a uh, double ribbon with you guys in order to make my bow now i've got my ribbon glued to the fleece and your hand so to speak in the first six inches you'll bring a roll it to the top the next one you will roll over that and so now you've got them rolled together but then you're going to come back with the blue one and bring it in just a tad bit shorter I usually take my finger or my index finger and place in there make it a tad bit shorter put it underneath you're gonna bring it in a tad bit shorter just like this side and now you got it laid there underneath because you brought it back under Now you're going to take it, the tail of it and all, and you're going to put your thumb right there to hold it in place, and you're going to roll it back over the top of your pile of bows. See, they're right there, and it's looking awkward, but it will come together. Hold it in place, hold it in place, and bring that tail underneath. Scrunch them all up. I usually take my thumb and just push it up as best I can and then you're going to bring that tail around again just like that and then that is your difference now you you've got two choices you can cut that off right there and just glue that difference and you have you'll just adjust it and if you need to you can twist it around but now it has that wire to help it and so now you have your double stack bow and you can just glue that back in the back. Now I'm just going to cut off the difference. That way it will stay in place for you. Both sides up and down. So I've got this piece. And the way that I need this to look these were really taken away from my whole arrangement. And there again, that's what DIY is all about. You kind of give and take and you'll work with it and you'll finally figure out what's going to work. So, put him in the 
right spot there. Fix him up. And that's the bow we made now that he has some wire to help with the fleece scarf fabric. I just need to spread that out, guys. I was gluing it into place and everything started slipping on me. Because it felt hat to go atop of our reef. So I'm going to move my reef out of the way so I can show you guys how to make a felt hat. Now I'm using a leftover spool top from where we just made our bows. I had a ribbon spool left over. So we're going to use this top as our guide. Now we do not need a whole felt hat to go atop of that reef simply because it's not going to accommodate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut the back side of this ribbon spool off. And I just pre toilet paper roll here. And I need three inches of this toilet paper roll. So I'm going to have measured it. And I've got three inches here. That's how tall I need my hat to be. So I'm just cutting that away. Now I'm going to take and cut this in half. So now I've got that half. And I'm going to glue this to the outer part of that circle. Because that's all we're going to need. And it's going to be almost the perfect size. And what I'm going to do to make it easier is I'm going to lay it down. And I'm going to put me a bead of glue right around the edge of this board. And with it already curved, it'll make it easy to put this in place. Because it'll just roll up around it. And I'm just trying to eyeball the front or the very center of it. And put some glue down the inside edge. Just to kind of build a pile there and hold it in place. I hope you guys can kind of make out what I'm doing because a lot of times you just have to let it drizzle and run that is set up and it's drying and I'm just letting it get set in place and that wall that barrier will hold the pressure now so taking the cardboard that form that we've made and I'm going to take and glue the fleece around that so I'll just run our reef, and we want this to lay flat against the back. Since that way it'll most likely be hanging up somewhere against a wall, and we'll need this to lay flat. So that's why we've cut the back off of it. So as you can see, I'm just gluing it as I go. It doesn't have to be a lot of glue, just enough to get it fixed on there. And you want to bring it above the edge, just right above that edge. So I'm doing the top edge, just like that. And bringing it around and making sure that that gets attached back here. Gobble glue along that edge. Bring your fleece up to it and just give it a. You want to try to get that kind of straight there. Now we're going to flip that backwards for a moment. We're not ready to cut that off. We want to leave that loose. Because that's going to be our brim. We're going to put all that together. So now half of it. And I see where that's going to be. And I know that based on the one I did before. I'm going to be cutting this back side off. Because I won't need it. And I just go straight across. I don't overcomplicate it just slightly. Just like that. And to make it easier, set it down. 
figure where you're going to put how much brim you need and then just kind of eyeball it and then place your cardboard down and then I always go back in the back to hold that in place like a wall just mash that up to it make sure they meet we're almost done guys almost hold in there so now that we've got the brim on there and glued into place this extra that we had we're going to bring it down now before we can finish, we have to put us some glue here on the brim. And you kind of want to bring it out here to the edge. Make sure that your glue is at the edge of the board because that's where we're going to need to make sure that that fleece fastens. And then I roll it down gently. Just kind of bring it down and pat it into place with your thumb. Smooth that edge. Kind of want to wrap this underneath just because it'll be sitting like this and we don't want that to be seen. So now that we've got this pushed down pretty close there, we can go ahead and cut some of that loose so that it won't pull and stretch to the side. You don't want to go too far. You want to just meet that edge because we'll glue that together here in a minute. Now go ahead and put you a little strip of glue right here under that lip. And we're going to roll that fleece over that. And they'll cover up that underneath for us. So the lip of the hat. Just so when it's hanging, that edge will be covered. We can cut just a little bit of the center of it out. Just a small amount because we want to put some more glue there and finish fastening that down. So this time you might want to actually put that onto the fleece or the board. Either one. It doesn't matter as long as we get it buckled down. It's kind of sticky because the glue is cool. Okay, we have our little felt hat built. Now we need to cover the top with the fleece scarf as well and then we go to the whole edge so once again making sure because you can trim off the difference not worried about that difference and then I once again I let mine ride up on the felt fleece that's already there and just get it on there I generally start in the back, guys, simply because it's just making sure that I've got everything covered. All right. We've trimmed off our difference. Now we can get a little more closer. Now, there she is. We have our felt hat. Now that part in the back, you can now go ahead and glue it down if you want to, or you can leave it until you get ready to put it on the reef. I'm going to go ahead and take my chances and glue mine closed just so it won't be flapping. We have our half top hat. So let's bring our reef back. Voila, we have our little felt hat.
and I just try to lay my fingers in, in behind it just to make sure that it's flush with the back edge of the reef cooling down I go to the back and just make sure that I put some glue back there and if I need to I can take some and they'll help pull it down there's so much glitter on that stuff my gosh that I mean it's not feeling like it's going to do anything but I just want to make darn sure that thing don't take off somewhere like the wind blowing or something and take off with my hat so I'm actually going to take these strips and glue them back to the brim up here <coughs> as a security measure for extra security I'm Glued them extra strips to the back of the hat, and now I'm gluing them to underneath the brim. I brought them behind the reef here. I have me some greenery here that I'm going to put on my hat. I'm trying to do this on camera if I can. It's hard to reach because of the size of the reef, and I'm pleased with the size of the reef. Maybe one right in there. Kind of really glue, guys, in case you're wondering. That will be in the link below all the different supplies and stuff that I use most commonly. And yeah, I think it looks pretty snazzy. He probably needs a band to go up there on that brim area, even though I've already. There we go, guys. That looks pretty great. And what I'm going to have to do, because this is so large, right here's our bells, our bow that we made, and it's just looking fantastic. I love how that star just ended up right there in the front. Don't you? I think that just sets it off. It just looks fantastic like that. And uh, you'll probably want to put a hanger here so that you can hang it up and then that way you can just kind of get it centered and hang it up and then here are the bells uh, we abandoned those filler balls and I think this looks much better actually it looks really great I love it it's awesome so how to do a different kind of bow and definitely how to make a felt hat out of your ribbon spool They'll make it about anchoring it onto the wire reef there, onto the reef, so it'll be easier for you. If you like, and our reef is done, and we've got our floral on our felt hat as well. So we are at the end of our DIY project for today, guys. I certainly hope you enjoyed this. If you're not already a subscriber, I certainly hope this persuades you to. And if you are a current subscriber, welcome to the gang. Thank you so much. And if you head over to the Dandy Soap DIY Facebook group and join us over there. That way we can talk to each other and communicate without having to use the comment section of the YouTube. If you please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and feel like you learned something and enjoyed it and would like to learn more. Please share it with a family friend or a member who enjoys DIYs. And the more likes we get, the better we get ranked in a video at the end of this one and show you what this reef looks like on display don't forget to add you a hanger till the next day it's on my display wall and I thought I'd come in here and hang it up and show you guys what it looked like and how good it turned out and let me cut off the lights and this is what it looks like with the lights out in the dark and it's absolutely beautiful and as you can see the light box, the battery box for the lights is concealed and you cannot even see it. And it's right back here behind the greenery as we put it. And it's wired in the felt hat that we made and it's gorgeous. And I was able to hang it right there in the middle and it worked out really, really good. So you guys have a wonderful Merry Christmas. Thank you and I appreciate you for being part of the gang.
This is Elizabeth saying have a wonderful, dandily, crafty day.